That's really bad. I mean, this is good HP, but the dude, the soft sand punish is so real right now. Jesus, f man. Rosary death is super fine, but we did use two candies as well. How are you guys doing? Went to a tattoo convention. Ooh, sick. So to update everyone on what's going on, okay box, I think. Um, this guy's still fucked because I didn't teach Water Pulse. We evolved this guy. Evolved this guy. He's still useless. Evolved this guy, finally. She's not really done anything yet. Um, Breloom has been trucking on, you know. Uh, Quillfish kind of falling off. This thing's still not shell armor. This finally evolved, so I'm sure it'll see some use now, right, guys? Um, Staraptor is probably pretty good. This guy's still the hero of the run. Toxicroak been doing great. This horse is incredible. Vivillian is incredible. This is just fast kills. It's like the only thing I have that like fast kills <laughs> and Staraptor, I guess. Um, the eel's just the eel. This probably falls off now. Um, this is fine. This is really good. This is really good. Um, and then we sacked Roserade to, uh, to Watson. Let's see, Air Slash. Notice me. Nope. Wait, this is, I'm f***ing stupid. I wasn't paying attention at all. Oh my god, I just f***ed myself. Uh, okay, hold on. Yeah, I thought Swoobat would come out here, but it's, it's, they, they have the same because it doesn't, yeah, it, it doesn't, yeah. Okay, um, Foul Play does a lot of damage, but we kind of just gotta try to wake up, I think. But it's, it's not great because we can't really take this much damage. Okay, so let's get this down to 57%, um, with Torterra. Could do some chip with them. With Toxic Croak on a pivot there. I think I want to do some pivots. I mean, Wordier is decently safe. There's a chance that, like, if he max roll foul plays and crits, that Wordier dies here, but that's just how it is. Like, he can hypnotize and all that. Wonderful. And now this is guaranteed foul play. Or hypnosis. Hypnosis plays? Nice. Good thing I went Chesto. This was my best shot at dealing with the um, Swoobad. It's still not great. If he doesn't Calm Mind, we just win, unless we flinch. If he does Calm Mind, we're steering. Yeah, this is faster. This is so spooky. Yep. Yeah. Crit gets us out, Para gets us out. Okay. Stored power kills 3 out of 16 ranges. Quick attack to 16 and 19, never kills here. What a f***ing stupid mistake. It's just hard wordier and hope for no flinch. If he flinches, I think we have to sack Wordier. Flinch chance is worse than 3 out of 16. Alright. This is your moment, Wordier. Montreal. Don't. Don't. <sighs> I 
I think I gotta do it. What a dumb fucking way to lose something, man. Sorry. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking at the screen more. So what happened is basically I thought um, Swoobat would come out after after Chimeco. And um, I just blindly switched Togedemaru into a f***ing hypnosis. I had to get unlucky for this to happen too, but like I I can't complain. Like it's it's just a straight up like such a such an obvious straight up mistake, right? <sighs> All right. Well, hardest fight of the entire run so far is coming up. So Staraptor outspeeds and kills Blaziken. If you can bait it out, if we can make sure that like Weavile is dead and Kingdra is dead, Staraptor probably takes it from there. There's so unbelievably much that can go wrong. We'll see what happens. All right. So, she leads with this Indeedy that sets up permanent psychic terrain. We're gonna lead by mud shotting this once to make it slower. So the thing is, this has light clay and double screens. It's seven out of eight, I think, every turn to use one of the screens. It might expanding force me for 99% of my health or crit me to just kill me. If this happens turn one, we're just dead. Um, we're gonna mud shot here to make it slower and then spam brick break to constantly break through the screens. Hopefully doing this will mean that we can get through this. Um, <clears throat> Without losing any HP. It's possible. Okay. That was the best one to do there too, because much out of special. So I think he's more likely to expanding force now because I'm faster. Okay, perfect. It doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. Nice. Very good. Alright, this will break. Um, this will bait Serena Tropkick. <clears throat> We're gonna go to this no item Scent of Scorch. So that knockoff does less damage because that's his best move against me. There's no upside to any of the moves that I could use here. Oh wait, lunge can reduce attack, right? I think I lunge. Yeah. White smoke really nice here. No attack drop because I'm white smoke, yeah. Okay, get crit there. That's not great. It's really not great. Okay. And now just go for the kill. Fifty-three HP. So this is Blaziken. This is the demon. This is ne this is exactly never close combat. Close combat highest rules fifty-two. I think it's pivot through Seismitoad here. Bait the close combat and go to Musharna. It, it risks one less crit to do it that way around. Or if I want to risk zero crits, I could. Sack Seismitoad, but I kind of have backup if he does crit me. Just uses up the white herb. 
Don't crit. Cool. So this is always close combat. Has infinite speed and you can't use priority because it's psychic terrain. It's a really cool fight. So, Musharna's missing some HP here just because if I had to pivot to an overheat, it would still always proc my citrus berry. Okay, let's dodge a crit, boys. on. Yes! <sighs> I think this is Weavile. Even if he would pursue it, I'm only dead to max roll. But I don't think he does here. This is always Night Slash or Icicle Spear. Let's hope for Icicle Spear. Pursuit is 25 to 30. Just give me Icicle Spear here. Yep. Okay. This has a sash, so this damage doesn't matter. Is there a world where I razor shell instead? Probably. I mean, like, I might as well? No, but I'd rather do the additional damage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, remember, do not Aqua Jet here. We are in Psychic Terrain. Cool. This is Kingdra, right? Is this El Creamy? This is El Creamy. He can use either move here, but Dazzling Gleam is much more likely. Easy. It's still not over, by the way. Kingdra can still wipe us. But this is like super optimal so far. Do I want to nuzzle this? So the problem with nuzzle is that I'm dead to liquidation crit. Like D-dance is the way that I kind of wipe, right? If I switch on the D-dance here, I think this is it. Okay. 
Now we got a Clawitzer. Nice! I think we have it. I think it's guaranteed. Terrain Pulse. Fucking easy, man! What? Who the f said Cycling Road Rival was harder on Turtle? Who the f said that sh Okay, I did get lucky. I did get lucky, obviously. We dodged a crit here. We fucking dodged every expanding force. We got two full paras, one of which mattered. But like, come on. That was a pretty good line. So Vivalon needs to be at that health because it needs to always die to Kangaskhan return so that I can predictably know that they're both always going to attack into the Vivalon slot. Okay, let's hope this Brick Break kills. And they both have to target Vivalon because they see a kill on it, so we're going to click Protect. If Lycanroc rock, rock slides, we have Inner Focus. And it can't fake out either of them because I have Shield Dust slash Inner Focus. Okay. Perfect. Hit it. Nice. Very good. Alright, Firo. Always sees a kill on Vivalon, never sees a kill on Surf Etched. So, always going to target the Vivalon. Same for the Lycanroc. What is Surf Fetched doing this turn? I could switch to horse, I guess. Or I could just break break the the the, the Firo. I think that's really straightforward. Cause now this slot just goes into Token of Maru. No, I need to kill the Firo first, because it's two trainers. So I want to kill one trainer's Pokemon first to make it into a 1v2. And it's um drill peck slash return plus Excel Rock slash Rock slide into the Token Amaru slot here. Okay. Unlucky, but fine. Unlucky, but fine. It's a lot of damage. Citrus value coming in here. Okay, so this is double ground move into Toga tomorrow because they both see a kill with it. So we can just go back into Vivalon. They do both see a kill with it, right? Stomping Tantrum from Lycanroc and Drill Run from Firo. So let's just Brick Brick again. Yep. Yep. Okay, so Stomping Tantrum just failed. So it is boosted right now, right? I just almost clicked through this. But like, it's completely fine. Sur Surfetch has so much HP. And he obviously always sees the kill on Vivillion, so... Just Brick Break. And Protect. Nice. 
Nice. Um, um, yeah, and now just kill this back into Toga, and then I fake out up, I can free switch to send to Scorch, and then kill it the next turn. Fake out crit ever trigger Salak Berry here? No? Okay. Alright. Swap. Fake out. There's no reason not to fake out, right? This fight is just not that deep. Especially if you have a Vivalon. Alright, Fire Lash always kills, always outspeeds. Easy peasy. Um We have to be careful with what Toga Tomorrow does this turn, actually. Right? Because it's it's Gen 8 speed rules. So if I were to bring this into Salak Berry range. Um, Victory Bell would then move first before Sent a Scorch. Um, so just switch into like Vivalon. Top brick break and everything, yeah, we'll be fine. Pretty high roll. Should always be chat up. Ooh, could this be chatter? If so, I guess I'm wiping. T punch kills, right? One citrus. It's always grass knot. There's like a pivot plate there through Send to Scorch, but I CBA. We'll see if I get punished for it, I guess.
Do I want to pivot through Golem? Probably. For guaranteed earthquake, so we can get the free switch to this. Nice. This isn't like super guaranteed to work. But like, it's pretty good. Minus one citrus. I'll be using that shit like it's nothing. Okay, that was easy. I could do one more trainer. Let's do one more trainer to end the route. There's eruption there. Oh wait. I made a mistake. This is fine though. This is actually better. This wasn't full HP when I calc this, but... Uh, that could have been really bad, but that's fine. Should still be for alligator always. Yeah. Should still be liquidation always. So we can't swords dance. Don't max roll or crit me. That would be a crit. Okay, good thing we brought backup, I guess. Um, was it a max roll crit? It doesn't really matter. He needs another crit to kill here. I could just run it. I'll switch. I don't know if this was good. If I can be perfectly honest. Yeah, because now I'm still risking a crit. Well, actually, am I just f Did I just kill myself? Okay, he needs a crit now. Nah, I should have just stayed in. Um, I think I wipe if he crits. No, because Staraptor can revenge, right? Nope. Uh, it's a range. Well... Uh, I should've just stayed in with, with Breloom. I think I probably had a better shot here. Torterra is just dead to a lot of liquidations at plus two. I mean, worst thing that happens is that I lose Shrimp. And then Staraptor. Or Shrimp and then Breloom, depending on how I want to play it. Well, let's just not get crit. Don't punish. Oh. Jesus, f man. Spooky. Pretty bad planning. It's pretty sloppy. Okay. Is this guaranteed Giga Drain or a fing seed bomb or whatever? Yeah, it's never Earthquake. The real misplay was um, 
I think switching Breloom out. This is a range. But it doesn't really matter. I have Cherry. Okay. Whoa, that was risky for no f***ing reason. Well, I mean, the, the Fralligator is a f***ing piece of sh** that I have, like, not a lot of answers to. Like, I don't really know if you can plan around that thing critting you twice. Not sure. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the subs. I'll be back tomorrow. Or I won't be. Who the f*** knows?